This is a patient in her 50s who comes in with abdominal pain. There was a CT scan, an ultrasound showed uh, a mass in the left hepatic lobe, and an MRI was uh, performed to further characterize it. So as we scroll down on our T2-weighted images, we can certainly see this mass encompassing much of the left hepatic lobe, and it really does look quite complex. It's uh, predominantly cystic, but very multi-loculated. There's a lot of septations within it. Some of these septations are, are quite thick, as we can see down there. And uh, it has uh, some more intermediate signal within some components of these locules. And we notice that uh, it's a solitary mass and that there's no other uh, solid or cystic masses, at least on these T2-weighted images that we can see in the left hepatic lobe, and that uh, there's no biliary ductal dilatation, um, no definite communication with the ducts, at least on this sequence. When we see our post-contrast subtracted image, we note that all these septations are enhancing, some are thickened, some are nodular, but we're not really seeing discrete soft tissue components associated with uh, this cystic mass. Now, the imaging appearance of this is nonspecific, but if you take into account the patient demographics, a female patient in her 50s, along with uh, this sort of multi-loculated complex cystic mass that we see, one of the things you need to think about is hepatic mucinous cystic neoplasm. This was formerly known as biliary cyst adenoma, and they tend to look like this. They can be unilocular, but they uh, often do have complex uh, complexity to them with these septations. There is a predilection for the left hepatic lobe, and they tend to occur in females uh, aged anywhere from 45 to 60, 65 years old. They tend to be solitary. We notice that there's no other masses uh, in the liver in this instance. Um, there's no communication to the bile ducts, and on histology, they're characterized by uh, ovarian-like stromal lining, which is a key feature to make this diagnosis. This indeed was resected, and this turned out to be a hepatic mucinous cystic neoplasm.